Can you dig it? Hey everyone, my name is Kane Koltenyuk, as you know, and today we're going to be comparing my skill to my Shufu Yin Yi skill. And I don't think things are going to go well for me in this one. Welcome to Shaolin Temple Kung Fu Center. So this is my Shufu Yin Yi Shi. He is a Shaolin monk from the Shaolin Temple in China, and I really have to thank him for being my teacher. So I'm gonna ask you some questions. Is that yeah, okay? Sure. So how old were you when you went to the Shaolin Temple? When I was nine years old, when uh, I came to Shaolin Temple and training with other masters. Yeah, this is the most age around that. Yeah. So, what did you do after you left the Shaolin Temple? Well, left the Shaolin Temple was 2011. I mean, my Kung Fu brother bring me here to do the culture exchange to promote the Shaolin cultures. So, that's right. I came here by my Shifu Abed. Yeah. And what made you want to come to America and start teaching? Well, that's good questions. Before I came to America, we was travel around the world, so we have been performance in uh, European and Australia, and also Asia country, few Asia country. It's pretty good. So that time I just want to learn English. You know that, right? Yeah. American English. That's my favorite. Yeah, the you know the sounds. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not saying all the country not good, but yeah, I like the freestyle. You know, like a, so comfortable mm -hmm. for me. But yeah, this is a. The things I want to be here, so I like uh, American life. It's more relaxed and also it's more boring too. <laughs> All right, so now that we know him a little more, so let's get into the comparison. All right, so for our first demonstration, we'll be doing the form called Tiger. So yeah, the Tiger form is the most uh, we are doing the martial art, and then we just copy from the animals. Uh, what is the feature from them? So that's why we're learning that. Then we. Uh, try to use it on uh, attacking or protect ourselves. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Come on. I think that was like a lopsided demonstration. <laughs> um, I think you take the victory on that. Yeah, I, I did a few moments different. <laughs> That's good. All right, so the next weapon we're gonna be demonstrating is called the shield and the sword. Now the shield and the sword, as you see in the movies, people use this as the defense and this as the attack weapon. Now we're gonna be showing you what that looks like in Shaolin Kung Fu. Are you ready? Yes, let's do it. All right.
That, wow. There's no words to explain what my master just done. That was incredible. Now, yeah, that was crazy. Time for the next one. So our next comparison of a weapon is the double-handed straight sword. Okay, how can we use this sword? And also, why is it long? Then you can keep distance with your opponent. And also, the straight sword have a three side. You can use the first one. You can push, and another one you can slice or cut or slice up. Yep, that's not the simple way we're using. And you ready? Yep, sure. All right. for you guys this is craziness here that was a lot of flexibility which is very amazing power and strength everything in one that's what I want to be one day all right I think it's time for the next comparison for our next comparison we are doing the weapon called Pu Dao yeah so the Pu Dao is a mostly important like a medium weapon it's not belong to too high and also the use is very convenient so have a sword on top and have a stick on your hand. So you can use both ways, attacking, cutting, or use it faster to use it with the, you know, to the opponent. Alright. Okay, you show them. Alright, go ahead. Again, good job. You did great too. Yeah. Thank good you. Boy. All right, I think it's time for our next comparison. All right, for our next comparison, we'll be using the three section staff. Now, my opinion on these are I think they were used like a really long time ago. I don't really know, so let's ask my master. Okay, the three section nunchucks. All right, you can use it to be a double weapons, like a drum. Or whatever he is. yeah. Another one, you have far distance, so you can do spin. So change it to one. It's like a wiggle, like that. Spin. Okay. Or if more far, you can feel like a whip. What? Like go okay. Or like a take it from top down. Like that. So yeah, that's the most things, the feature for these weapons. It can be a soft weapon and it can be a short stick. Pretty cool. That was a really good explanation, so let's get to demonstrating. 
You ready? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Sure, let's do yeah? it. All right. All right, for our last demonstration, we'll be doing the nine ring sword. Yep, uh, so we do the nine ring sword. It's used in war, so it's the weight is heavier, and also you can carry the power to cut, slate him up. All right, let me show them. All right, you go first. <laughs> our flexibility and power mm -hmm. so that's what we do use a heavy weapon to train yeah thank you for watching everyone make sure you like and subscribe for more content like this and we'll see you all in the next one